this shit. Look at all this damn shit all over this bathroom. Oh, hello there. I did not know that my brother Josh had the camera set up today. Well, I have some bad news for all of you shitheads out there who like to watch his stupid YouTube channel. That's right. I'm his twin brother Johnny. And I just sent his ass to jail. Why? Well, because he was running some kind of illegal shaving operation out of the back seat of his car. Transporting illegal shaving goods over state lines is a very serious offense. Let me tell you that. So all of you better watch your asses out there. I originally dropped by his apartment today because I promised him that yes, even though I did arrest my brother, I would feed his cat coral. So, I am here. And while I'm here, I think I'm gonna do something that I've never done before in my life. I'm actually gonna try out his crazy method of shaving. His stupid wet shaving, whatever the fuck that even means. I don't know. But I'm gonna give it a go. Because, on the way over here, I happened to run into some trick-or-treaters, little shitheads, basically stealing candy and food from elderly people, if you ask me. And I grabbed one of their baskets because it is in my prerogative to do so as an officer of the law. I'm pretty much able to do whatever I please, especially once Emperor Trump gets elected into office next month, if you know what I'm saying. So, let's go through this basket here. Looks like it's got a couple of shaved goodies, if you know what I mean. First thing, Florida man. You know, kids today making this soap ridiculous. Florida man, what the fuck does that even mean, Florida? Uh, well, it smells pretty damn good. It smells like some kind of citrusy orange grove. I don't know. Ridiculous. Second thing. Oh, I guess someone is in the Halloween spirit. This soap is called Jack-O-Lantern. And, well, I have to admit, there is a lot of holiday essence packed into this one little nugget of soap. Well, I'm still not convinced, but I am going to hang on to this piece of soap. I'm going to throw it in my shade bowl there. We don't know what we're going to do yet. The last one here, what do we got? Oh, we got something called Cigar Bar. Someone's obviously addicted to... Oh, what do we got here? Looks like we have the business card of the man who made this soap. Looks like he's sending out his soap samples via reddit.com. His name is Christopher Labiche. He's the owner of Big Easy Soaps and Tinkers. I was wondering where all this soap was coming from. It was absolutely ridiculous to me. Okay. He lives in Harvey, Louisiana. Well, no wonder. Everyone down there is obsessed with cleanliness. Mmm. I have to admit, this one smells pretty damn good too. This Christopher Labiche, he might be onto something. But it I'm not going to support my brother's shaving habit just yet. Let's keep going, let's see what we got. Okay, we got here a flying fortress. This guy thinks he's a goddamn World War II veteran. Hmm. Yeah, I have to admit, these are some of the greatest scents I've ever encountered in all of my years of shaving this glorious mustache. I am all that is man. You know what, enough about my mustache. We don't have to keep talking about how beautiful it is. You can see it, I can see it. I know that everybody out there wants this big, bushy, wonderful bastard on their face all day, every day, but you know what? You can't have it because you ain't a goddamn cop. So in the meantime, let's stop wasting time and let's look and see what else is in this basket full of tricks. Ooh, it even lights up. How about that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is something I know well for whenever trick-or-treaters come to my own home. Why? Because I hate children. And I will do absolutely everything I can to stop them from spreading across the earth and replacing us. That's right. It's an apple with a razor blade in it. I don't know if Christopher Labiche is the one that put this in here, but if you did, Chris, then I commend you, because this is brilliant work. Let's pull this baby out. This is about the best argument for wet shaving that I've seen yet. What do we got here? Oh, a persona med prep blade. This guy's not fucking around whatsoever. God. Damn. This is basically what they use to perform surgeries on people. Kid eats one of these, my god. He's gonna have himself a bad Halloween and a bad set of Halloweens for the next 200 Halloweens, if you know what I'm saying. Mmm, Fuji. One of the greatest apples there is. Nah, I'll save it for later. I'm not gonna give you motherfuckers the satisfaction. But okay. Let's see. I got the blade. I got the jack-o'-lantern soap. I got all the other stupid shit that my brother's got laying around in here, so I guess I'm just gonna have to put it all together. This must be the Makoa 34C that he's always hopping on about. Goddamn asshole. Yes, yes, put it on, screw it on. It's better than your Mark III, Johnny. Pfft, doesn't look better. It's a lot heavier, it's a lot shinier, that's about it. But okay. I'm gonna lather this bastard up, and we're gonna see what we get. Let me just take this call, we'll make breakfast. Yo, bitch. Maybe I'm just going to get fucked up. See you later, shit face.
Hmm. Uh, I must admit this. The smell of pumpkin and the overall holiday spirit is filling up this bathroom in a way that is, well, it's beyond my wildest expectations. Hmm. This Christopher Labiche must be some kind of a witch or some kind of a wizard, I don't know. Hmm. His skills with the scent, they are powerful. But you know what? There's more to life than just scent. There's also comfort, glide, slickness. Basically how it makes my face look once all the fucking hair is gone. So let's move on to that. Let's shave. One, two, three, do it. Oh, but Johnny, don't shave with your sunglasses on. You're gonna cut yourself. Shut the fuck up. I'll do whatever the hell I please. My first impressions, I don't want to even say because it would give my brother a little bit of credibility and I will not do it. I will not do it. Oh god damn it, why not? This is a great shaving soap. It's a great blade, it's a great everything. I was wrong all these years. Well, I've been a cop now going on, I don't know, 15 years, I guess. And I have to admit, in that time I've done a lot of things. I've carried a gun, I've collected a, a nice 401k package, one day I'll collect a pension. I've gotten a lot of blowjobs from a lot of girls looking to get out of a lot of tickets. But I think the thing that surprised me the most is what happened right now in this bathroom, and that is with that shave. I had absolutely no idea that wet shaving could provide such a comfortable, close experience. And I'm not even done yet, because we're gonna do another pass across the grain. Here we go. You fuck with me? Are you fucking? Back the I fuck, fuck up, up, I said. I will oh, jump on the other, other side, side and fuck. You trying to fuck? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah. Motherfucker. yeah. I was wrong, Josh, and I love you. I'm so, so sorry. Mom, I'm sorry for calling out Josh in a way that was, well, public. You're getting soft. I can't be hard all the time. The only thing that can make this shave any better is if Christopher Labiche included a few aftershave samples. So let's check it out. Let's see what we, let's see what we got. What the hell is this? A mint candy? Something from Mexico? Aguila Roja? What the fuck? Listen up, Labiche. You may be an expert at making soap, but when it comes to giving aftershave samples, you're like the guy that gives fun-sized candy bars instead of full-sized during trick-or-treating. You're some kind of maniac. Okay, there's only one thing I can do about this, and that is to raid Josh's medicine cabinet. That's right, this son of a bitch has spent so much money on this crap. Let's see what he got. Oh. Of course. Why am I not surprised? The first thing I see, citrus scented poopoo What kind of fairy is my brother? Jesus Christ. Second thing, Advil liquid gels. Josh, take the pain. Champs de lavender? No. Rugged and dapper? The exact opposite of my brother if I had to describe him. What's this? I don't know what that is. I don't want it. Oh. Oh, this is the one. Oh, yes. Yes, this is the one. What do we have? It says here, Leviathan. Have you guys heard of this? I don't know anything about it, but I'll tell you right now. I like the color and I like the name. Leviathan. That's a good description for me. Come on out of there. Oh, yeah. Come on out of there. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I will tell you something right now. This is a scent for the ages. 
Oh, mama. <laughs> well, I can tell you right now that my plans initially involved just going home tonight and getting drunk like usual, maybe watching some Mari Povich or some reruns of Jeopardy, but I don't know. I'll be honest with you. Between this pumpkin-scented soap and this Leviathan-scented aftershave, I'm feeling pretty sexy right now. I'm feeling like I could take on the world. Or maybe just pull over a couple of female motorists. Until next time, guys. You take it easy. You stay safe. And you shave the right way. Skin all wrinkly orange Carved from a fruit knife No one can hear what the pumpkin said Tiptoe he does tread It's Halloween night The jack-o'-lantern is out of bed